It was one of the long weekend when we started for Gaspi road trip in one late Friday afternoon after finishing our office. On the way we found some beautiful locations. Due to time limit, we couldn't stop everywhere. But a few places were so beautiful, we couldn't stop ourselves to detour and take some breaks to enjoy the natural beauty and then again started for the next destination. And the next destination was one of the beautiful lighthouses in the St. Lawrence coastline. It was quite a kilometer walk from the parking to the meadows and the beautifully maintained wooden path to the coast where the lighthouse is standing tall with its glory. It's a small but dark red lighthouse against the backdrop of the first dark blue coastline, a natural contrast of rioting colors. After visiting the beautiful red renowned lighthouse, we started driving towards Bonaventure Island, one of the main attractions. Bonaventure Island is known for it, one of the largest colony of northern Canets. A 30 minutes drive took us to the dock where we had to take the ferry to reach the island. The 30 minutes boat ride was nothing more than a normal sail through the blue water of St. Lawrence Gulf. The boat crossed the famous Gaspi Pierce Rock. While guide was explaining the tourist information in French and English both. It was windy but none of us were bothered by the crisp wind while actually everybody was anxiously waiting to get down the island to see the birds. We were excited to reach the Gannett's colony, but a refreshment was required, and we acquired few snacks and water bottles, as the forthcoming walk was long and strenuous. Ten years old Nemo was super excited about the trek and about the birds. We walked quite a bit through the valleys, jungles and meadows. It was in one point when we felt the sea breeze again and the sound of birds calling was audible to us. Once we reached the destination, we were amazed to see the huge colony of gannets. It was a panoramic view of birds nesting, chirping, feeding, flying all across the cliffs, gulf and the horizon. Bonaventure Island is greatly known for home to one of the largest colonies of gannets in the world. Though we visited couple of months after their ideal breeding period, still we were amazed to see the large number of birds present. The island became a bird sanctuary in 1999 and population of the birds and popularity around them grew quickly. The geographic location, abundance of food and absence of predators in the Gulf of St. Lawrence provided a perfect shelter of these birds for a long time. In one of my studies in Quebec Maritime website, I found that supply of fish is declining due to climate change and in last several years the number of northern gannets including hatchlings are dropping. Though these findings are disappointing, I'm sure Canadian Wildlife Service are working on this situation. After visiting this beautiful kingdom of northern Canets, we drove towards another attraction of Gaspip, the famous Parsi Rock. The light faded away when we reached the viewpoint, but still we were fortunate to see world's largest natural arches located in the water while there was still some light in the horizon. We spent our last few moments enjoying the Parsi rocks and its surroundings in that evening before saying goodbye and back to the daily routine. It was another long drive from the Gaspi Peninsula to National Capital Region, our hometown, with a promise we would come again to explore more of this beautiful land.